Well, I know it's virtual, Guy, but what a delight to be here. This is still something very, very special, um, and I don't think anybody's going to feel shortchanged. So what was, what, what was the idea in putting together what you did? I mean, today, Beethoven, Schubert and Mendelssohn seem to just dovetail together perfectly. Yeah, we had to consider the fact that we couldn't all get together to rehearse um, much uh, for, for, a, for a change. And um, so, so really, the programme for the whole weekend has been sort of constructed through uh, various means to, to be sure that, yeah. for example, the Catherines, um, who, who we've just heard, live up north, close to the, in the same village, I think. And so they were able to meet with each other, socially distanced, and, um, but, they, but Cathy wasn't so happy working on other repertoire and arriving here and uh, having not rehearsed. So that, that worked very, very well. Yeah, but come on, there's an element of danger in any festival. And the whole part That's thing true. is that people come together who you might not see together. And so th that gives it a sort of real excitement, doesn't it? Absolutely. I mean, I mean, it felt like that. Yeah, I mean, if, if all had gone to plan this year, we would have had an Eastern European theme and we had musicians coming from all over the mm. world and we would have been in residence here for a few days, getting to know each other, playing together and then performing for the public. Um, so it, 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 we're longing for those days to return, but it's been incredibly special to have yeah. what we have had uh, uh, for the last couple of days and look forward to tomorrow as well. Yeah, but look, I, it, it, we felt, I felt a sense of excitement and it keeps you all on your metal, I think, as well. So you are making music. You haven't gone over it a thousand times. You are making music, and there's that sort of fantastic element. There's also, which of course I feel in this place deeply, which has had music at its very creation since the early 17th century, and at the first Cecil, you know, and only, had only letters from Dowland and Bird here, and music has always been made here, and you feel there's, there's a grateful resonance in these walls when it comes to making music now. Absolutely, and I think that's what Lord Salisbury said from the outset, that when I approached him nine years ago, we're nearly at our 10th anniversary, oh. well, how timely it was because he felt that there wasn't enough music happening in the house, as, as, yeah, his, as his ancestors would have uh, made the place uh, mm. for. This room was, was, was designed for entertainment, for, for, for song, for, for dance, for music. And um, so I feel it's a huge privilege to be able to um, put these programs together to invite musicians yeah. from all over the world and everybody who comes here feel changed by yeah, this extraordinary it does. Space. I mean, architecture and space does affect all of us. And if the proportions are wrong, I think we feel ill at ease. And so when you get the music perfectly in balance with the architecture, that's, it's very special. Absolutely. And um, another uh, wonderful thing uh, for this virtual festival is that we've, we, we've um, got some virtual tours from uh, Lord Salisbury um, talking about various artefacts with uh, Dom, uh, Dr. Emily Burns. And uh, so we get a kind of tour around the house and into rooms that mm. not everyone always gets to see. But we also wanted to present the music in these different spaces so that uh, we felt that, that music was, was, was living yeah. in all the various different rooms and that we could talk, for example, about John Dowland, who used to, to uh, come here. And so we'll have Elizabeth uh, Kenny and, and Yestin Davis uh, yeah. uh, performing some Dowland. So, so we're connecting, as you said yeah. earlier, with, with historical roots.